Welcome friends, I'm Crystal and I am excited to bring you this episode of Dancing into STEM. In this episode, we are going to talk about something that takes up more than two-thirds of our planet and makes up almost two-thirds of our bodies. Can you guess what it is? My good friend and fellow dancer, Aru, is going to show us. See if you can understand her movements. Aru is using Bharatanatyam, an Indian classical dance form which is based on body movements, hand gestures, and facial expressions. The use of gestural and facial expressions in Bharatanatyam is called Abhinaya. Let's go through what Aru just showed us. See her hand movements? Do they remind you of ripples on a lake? How about these movements? Can you see the river flowing? And here, do you see the raindrops falling? I am sure by now you have guessed what we are all talking about today. Yes, this episode is all about water. Did you know that almost two-thirds of your body is water? And more than 70% of the entire planet is water. Water is so important to life on Earth. It exists in many forms and continuously moves between them. Let's watch how water moves through our environment. Water from the ground and from lakes and oceans and rivers evaporates because of the heat of the sun and the dryness of the air around. The water vapor reaches the cooler air in the upper atmosphere and condenses to form water droplets, which come together to form the clouds we see. When the droplets in the clouds get heavier, they fall to the ground and into lakes and rivers as rain. Plants and animals depend on water for their growth and nourishment. Water in the ground is taken up by plants through their roots and, of course, animals and humans use water from lakes and rivers. I hope you enjoyed learning about water and the water cycle and about how we use Abhinaya in Indian classical dance in this episode of Dancing into STEM.